So we gotta get back to the La Casa. And hopefully father ain't that mad. Which ain't pretty much he's gonna be mad mad. Let's go on back. Okay. So I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit to Sindri. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna get in trouble. Oh. Tristan. Oh no. I like climbing. Okay. Nothing that way. Whoa. Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? Starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. I told you. Uh where's your necklace? Huh? Oh I was thinking and I uh got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh today was your lucky day. So tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I Oh no! The Huntress! I mean, not the Huntress. The Hateful! Is it? Oh no. Oh! I've still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, uh oh. Standing back Hit him! Oh my gosh! Oh no, this ain't good. This ain't good. Ah! Get off of me! There we go, baby. Ah, uh, this is... This is a hateful. Hit him, Sindri! Oh, no. Oh, no. Come here. Come my face. What the hell is wrong with you, floating eye? Oh, my gosh. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. <gasps> I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. Okay. Is he planning on leaving or something? Did I ever quit? Jump up! Get on my face! Oh, ho, ho, I love it! Throw it at him, Sidri! Oh no! Oh my god, there's so many of them! Where the hell did he go? What the hell? Ah! Okay, back to Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. Wait, what? I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. I love the way he runs. Really? Now? Come on. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, can't dodge that one. Hit him, CJ. Ah! 
my face! Alright, we gotta get out of here. I need health. Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean? A choice? I... I couldn't be alone. No. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. Nickname. <sighs> Oh, did I seen something? So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope, that was worse. Oh, and I heard it when I said it. All right. All right. Shall we? All right, let's go back to father. Such a failure. Just wanted now to. Now hang on, little Jotun. A tear may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you. Just act natural, but quickly. Okay. Go, go, go. See what he says. That is not the risk that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom, and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the Giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry! I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. this sausage uh sure why not i remember food tasting better i suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot i accept what <laughs> i'm sure that's where i'm planning our next move oh so where are we going? Alfheim. Home of the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey, don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. You're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. 
If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So, where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we sent you taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. I think we can move. Oh yeah, there we go. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight. And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that interest he'll seek for. The landlord? He's not the landlord. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, let's go. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. All right, let's go, baby. Excuse me, sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. What the hell? My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? What? This must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off, I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. Ah, there you are. I knew Here. you hadn't forgotten me. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Here. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? Yeah, sure. A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Anyhow, was there something else you wish to talk about? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithhog. Neithhog? That's the mother? Correct. She 
is also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neatho chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neatho is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. Hmm. Hmm. Well, stay safe, everyone. Okay. We're ready to go to Alfheim when you are, Father. I am already here, Master Kratos. Perhaps there was some confusion. This is for calling me out here, not for when I am here. Do you just like hearing the sound of the chimes? I suppose they do sound very pretty. Master Kratos, this feels very uncharacteristic of you, but if you enjoy the pretty chimes <laughs> that much, I will allow you to indulge. Yes, you've done it. Well thrown. Ah, the sound of the chimes is not unpainful at this distance, so perhaps you could not? Already here, as it were. So... I... You're deliberately attempting to push me into some sort of emotional outburst, aren't you? Well, I'm not so easily swayed, my good man. Stop with the stupid chime! Oh, oh dear. I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. I am already here. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Alright, let's go, Tear. visit to the land of the elves sure I can Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple Freya tried coming with us but Odin cast a spell on her she can't leave Midgard that's terrible so then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light you interfered in the elf war not by choice we sought to fill our Bifrost and they attacked us the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. We seemed better in Alpha. <laughs> Did they now? Let's go, baby! Whoa! Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here. That's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. Broke history, graffiti and dark of territory next to a statue of their ancestors. That was before the division of the light and dark, the message being what exactly and for who. Either the elves have seen the statue and ignored it, or they're more concerned with mastery over the light. Okay. Uh, you guys are going that way. What's over yonder? Let's go. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, next to that. Oh, it's away. No, 
Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble winter. Damn. Alright, I can go down here. Okay. A living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. The Jew of Alfheim, Alpine is our most sacred and fertile desert team, team, teeming with an unquelled uh, diversity of life from the majestic half gufa and their dulcet song of sands to the wide area of turtles and lizards found in the Hajarta, the abundant herds of gazelle and ibex, ibex roaming the shifting dunes all creatures of the desert are given breath by the grace of the light take a moment to witness the grandeur and reflect keep well mm, thy realm music the song of the sands he called it oh, another victim <laughs> Nice. All right, let's go, guys. Hold on. Uh oh. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the dark elves get on the best they can. Oh damn! What if there's like a giant creature down there and it's our help? Okay, that's two. Is that the middle one? Yeah, that no, that's the far right. So the middle one should be somewhere on here. That one's there. The middle one should be somewhere back Perhaps here. We can reach that brazier from above. Yeah. Just don't see it. Maybe over here. Yeah, that one's gonna be on top. Don't see nothing over here. Yeah. Let me check up here. Oh, wait. Almost missed this. I don't see the other one. Here? There, the Temple of Light. Gross there it is. is at the top. Oh no, we're all the way down. Alright, let's get this. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting no one your chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes Luke. Ah, very well. Indeed I do. Freaking love loot. I love getting all the loot. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freyr's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. Wait, she has a brother? Huh? Check everywhere for loot. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic. 
No. Oh, there we go. Oh. I get it. It doesn't burst. Oh, snap. What the hell? Okay, you're supposed to climb. Stupid creature. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Oh, who's that? Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. We need to do this. Uh oh We do not have a choice. You gotta take him out. We're the ones who free your life. Oops, sorry. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alphine. Come on, get out of here. Ooh, I'm so sorry, y'all. Oh, snap. Ooh, snap. Was she gonna perform her special attack on me? They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Damn, bro. They've been fighting for a really long time. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Whoa. I saw this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus. Let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim, and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. What's going on? Oh, snap. Fine work, Atreus. Shall nice. We? Let's go. What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the 